yearly mass intentions thanksgiving for all the graces and blessings showered on tatredi francis reddy and family offered by tatredi chinna reddy and family for the repose of the soul of mrs monica somasundaram offered by judy and owen for the departed souls of paris and salana families and all friends offered by gladwin paris thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of jesus for good health peace happiness and protection of family members throughout the year offered by mrs annie days thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of jesus for all the blessings on the family offered by lurdraj swapna mary sara for god's grace and blessings throughout the year on mb charles and all his family members and as thanksgiving for all the blessings received and god's providence offered by family members thanksgiving and for a better year offered by mrs maria de souza healing of the family tree of savio and jyoti for spiritual physical and emotional healing of all of family members offered by savio and jyoti for the repose of soul of linnet pinto offered by aloysius pinto for the repose of the soul of marian pinto offered by aloysius pinto dear rodriguez and v de souza thanks god for all the blessings received so far and request for good health for all in their family job security and promotion and god's protection at all times praying for all departed souls of the de souza and rodriguez family family members offers this mass for the departed soul of venugopal n for spiritual welfare and deliverance of riya for spiritual welfare of pradhan and family mass offered by anian this mass is offered for the soul of tuma rojama by tuma balreddy and family for the soul of anthony rajesh by family members for the soul of teklamma by p shaurilu for the soul of kamalamma by children and family thanksgiving mass for all the favors received by andrew seeking god's blessings on the birthday of vijay neelima 
offered by Alam Anthony and family. Praying for these intentions, and we also pray today, since we have many Muslim friends, as they fasted for 40 days and celebrate the divinity in their lives. May God be their strength. Praying for this intention, let's begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass worthily. I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my faults, to my faults, to my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who, for the salvation of the world, brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplication of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may, by his likeness to ourselves, bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We are witnesses of these things, and so is the Holy Spirit. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, verses 27 to 33. <clears throat> In those days, when the officers had brought the apostles, they set them before the council. And the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name. Yet, here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response, the lowly one called and the Lord heard him. The lonely one called and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Your response? The lonely one called and the Lord heard him. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. Your response? The lonely one called, and the Lord heard him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all, the Lord will rescue him. Your response? The lonely one called, and the Lord heard him. Please stand for the acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Have you believed Thomas? Have you believed, Thomas? Because you have seen me. Because you have seen me. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. 
Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in a way, earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God. For he gives the Spirit without measure. Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hands. Whoever believes in the Son as eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, what you do not have, you cannot give, is an English phrase. Today, we are told what Jesus gives is what he has. He has all that the Father has. And he gives all that the Father gave. And that's why the being of Jesus, the giving of Jesus is above all. And that is heavenly. What does Jesus give? He gives Father. Whoever receives his testimony is the seal that God is true. All of us who gather, we gather here that God is true. I remember when I was studying philosophy, there are many people who call many things to God. Some would say God is only figment of thought. He is only in the mind. It is not real. The world is just functioning in a chain reaction. Somebody else would say, God is strength in weakness. God is hope for hopeless. Earthly ways of thinking of God is limited. And this limited thinking should not limit us. And Jesus, in today's gospel passage, was telling, I have come from above and I tell you about what it is. And then you do not understand. For you are busy with your earthly ways. As the scripture should say, what shall I eat? What shall I wear? What shall I? We are invited, dear brothers and sisters, to rise above to what Jesus what Jesus is and he gives it in full measure he gives it without any measure he gives unlimited to us hence we are invited dear brothers and sisters to believe and whoever believes has eternal life that is beyond the earth 
And that's why it's invited us to take the testimony of Jesus and then to know that we live not only to earth, we live beyond earth. And that's where eternity comes into our lives. If it is only earth, as some people would say, what is it? I come, I live, I die, and it's done. But it's not done. That's exactly the extra care. That's the exactly the extra love. That's exactly the extra belief. It's not like cutting the goat and eating and the goat is gone. For us to believe is to listen to God. For us to believe is to accept even if it is beyond our understanding. For us it is to save ourselves from what the Lord says. For those who do not believe, they are condemned. And we do not want that, dear brothers and sisters, the wrath of God. And hence, we seek the love of God as we pray in this Mass. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hand for the praise of the glory of his name, for our good and good all of his holy church. Let us pray. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrifice, sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always to acclaim you, O Lord, for in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and to the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and to his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Pula Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said it to your apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate in me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me, within your wounds hide me, never let me be separated from you, from the wicked enemy defend me, in the hour of my death call me and bid me to come to you so that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alam Anthony is a granddaughter. Nilima is celebrating birthday. After the Mass, we will wish her. The Mass is offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks me to God. Yes, we shall go.